Good afternoon. I'm going to try something, um, something I used to tell my students when I was working in the ESOL program, that if you speak Spanish and if you read Spanish and you look at the word, you look at the word in English and think about if there's another word in Spanish that sounds and looks very similar that that would be a good way to learn. So this is a dictionary. I'm going to start out the letter A. Of course you can't do this with every word but since English has many borrowed words you can do it frequently. I'm going to say what I just said, most of what I just said in Spanish. Estoy tratando de demostrar, mostrar, que si usa un diccionario y si, y si conoce español, puede mirar las palabras en inglés y piensa y mira bien y pregunta usted mismo esta palabra luce muy similar a algo en español y quizás es la misma de la misma definición defini definition quizás es la misma cosa okay let's try this I'm looking at the A page and it says ability. Ability. Esto suena como habilidad, no? Y es habilidad. Ability. Habilidad. English and Spanish, the same meaning. Here's the, here's the next word. Aquí es la próxima palabra. Abnormal. Mira como suena, abnormal. And in Spanish y en español es abnormal. Usted ve, es la misma cosa en diferentes lenguajes. It has the same meaning, abnormal, abnormal. Here's the next word, accent, acento, the same thing. La misma cosa, accent in English and in Spanish, acento, the same meaning. Okay, here's another one, accident, accidente, accident, the same thing, la misma cosa. Let's go a little faster, vamos a andar con esto un poquito más rápido. Action, acción. Actor, 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 actor. Adapt, adaptar. Adaptar, adapt. Administrator, administrador. Administrador, administrator. You see, you see the pronunciation is very different in Spanish. La, pronuncio, la pronunciación es diferente en español y es diferente en inglés, and it's different in English. Administrador, administrator. Okay. Admire, admirar. Admirar, admire. You just need to practice. Solamente tiene que practicar. Practice, practicar. I grew up in the musical side of the family, so I guess we loved sounds. And maybe that's why when they started teaching me Spanish in elementary school in the third grade, um, yes, third grade. That's why I took to it, and I always liked it. All right. Admission, 
admission. Now, if I'm uh, wrong about any of these words in Spanish, please let me know. Si estoy equivocado en algunas de estas palabras, por favor, dígame en los com comentarios. Tell me in the comments. And excuse me that my Spanish isn't perfect. Perdóname que mi español no es perfecto. But I love it. Okay. Adult. Adulto. Maybe people can use this video to learn a little Spanish also. English speakers. Adult. Adulto. All right. Agency. Agencia. Notice that with this word, the G, agency, in Spanish, the G has like an, a breathy H sound. It's not agencia. It's agencia. Okay. Agriculture. Agricultura. Agricultura. Agriculture. Here's an interesting one. Air conditioner. <laughs> aire condicionado. Air is aire and conditioner is, I don't know if it's condicionado or condicionado. Condis, 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 ay, 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 ay. See, now I have a problem. Air is aire, conditioner is condiciono. I can't get that. Someone let me know how to do that. Aire condicionado means air conditioned, but I'm trying to say air conditioner. Aire condis condicionador, something like that. Okay, here's the last one that I'm planning to do for this video. Airport. Aeropuerto. You see, air is aire, and port is puerto. Airepuerto. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Let me know. Well, that's it. By the way, I don't have an English, just English dictionary. I have um, English Italian, um, English Arabic. And, um, oh yes, I do have an English dictionary, but it was too small to use. So this is my uh, English Hebrew dictionary that I'm just looking at the uh, English side. And I, uh, I made the uh, cover. All right, I hope this is useful to someone. I love to be useful. And I have this on in case I go in the yard, in case one of the neighbors stands too close to me because, as you know, people are sometimes clueless. All right.